Well, our main concern is uh, things like extreme risk protection orders, otherwise known as red flag laws, uh, coming down the pipe, and um, magazine uh, limitations, you know, limitations on magazine capacity, um, maybe bans, also bans on certain types of firearms. Um, we think that it's all unconstitutional. There's already Supreme Court precedents set. Uh, there was really no reason why those commissioners sh shouldn't have voted on our resolution as, as presented last month. I think it's important for, for them to affirm their support for the sheriff and the prosecuting attorney's discretion to not enforce against any citizen any unconstitutional firearms law. Uh, it's just that simple, and that was the only wording that they left out. That and also affirming or uh, uh, naming Bay County to be a, a Second Amendment sanctuary county. Uh, those two things were the, the, the two main things in that resolution, and they left them out. I wanted to support the board doing the right thing. Um, they, I think they really nailed it. They supported their, um, they, they upheld their support of the Second Amendment and regular law and order. Uh, and both are important. You need the Second Amendment and firearm laws that have been regulating the Second Amendment since its inception, you know, to guarantee individual rights and balance it with public safety and keep firearms out of the dangerous and criminals, right? You, you need all of it. I think the board recognized the danger in exceeding their authority. They're following the rules. Um, they're pointing folks in the right direction. I think it was Commissioner Lutz who said, hey, if you don't like a law, we have a process for this. There's, there's a way to go about advocating for change of laws. Um, I'll say that, you know, folks who, who want more gun laws do that, and folks who want less gun laws do that. That's how it works in America.